Hello, you're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS in 3 or less. Today we're in the Hornet, showing how to auto land on an aircraft carrier using ACLS. Note that the comms shown here are absolutely essential to the process, and ACLS is only available in low light or bad weather. You also need the carrier correctly set up in the mission editor. As always, useful control bindings will be on screen at the end of the video. Begin at roughly 300 knots and 6000 feet. Use auto throttle and altitude hold to maintain this. Bring up the HSI on the left screen. Bring up the knee board. TACAN on. And enter the channel number. ILS on. Enter the channel number there. Press data link once. Turn on. And confirm the channel number. Enable TACAN on the left screen. And then ACL. Bring back the regular HSI on the right hand screen. Call the carrier to report inbound. Marshal 656. 656, case 3 recovery. Case 2 or 3 means we're good for auto land. Report as established. 656, established. 656. Flashing data on the HUD means there's something to look at on the ACL screen. We're commanded to fly at 6,000 feet, 300 knots, and we're close enough to that. Report as commencing. 656, commencing. 656, spec final bearing 33. Three. Hold the core switch until C cell appears, and input the final bearing told to you by control. Turn towards the TACAN course as indicated on the HUD and the HSI. Disable the altitude hold and the auto throttle, and fly down to meet the required speed and altitude. Level off and re engage altitude hold and auto throttle. As the TACAN course passes one range pip, turn to meet it. 656, switch approach. 656. Bring up the comms menu and check in. 656, checking in. 656, approach. Immediately report platform. 656, platform. Roger. New commanded altitude at 1200 feet, descend steeply to meet it. Keep your auto throttle on. Use the speed brake if you need it to maintain 250 knots. Level out at your target altitude. 656, final radar contact, 8 miles. Auto throttle off. New speed is 140 and there's a landing checklist to do. Gear down, flaps full. Manually hold the plane level while slowing to 140 knots. Trim your pitch vector towards the E bracket and control your sync rate with the throttle. Once you're more or less on speed, engage altitude hold and auto throttle. 656, six. ECLS lock on. Let's finish the landing checklist. Tail hook, carrier bypass, anti skid off. 656, six. approaching glide path. With that call, go autopilot couple. 656. Six. If successful, you'll see coupled pitch and roll in the HUD. With auto throttle on, you're completely hands off at this point. The only thing you have to remember is to throttle up on touchdown in the unlikely event that you miss the wires. I've been Dan, you've been watching DCS and 3 or less from Got Space Game. Massive thanks to all my Kofi supporters. If this was useful, please share, like and subscribe for more 3 minute DCS tutorials.